Oh man, I just finished a half day of fishing. My hands are completely uh, sandy right now. And uh, I have a fish in my bucket that's way too big for the bucket. And I'm not really sure how to do this intro, so bear with me. This is a whole weekend of fishing, guys. Okay, I wanted to start off by pointing out uh, the vaulted bank here, the incline on the bank. Uh, as it gets closer to the water, this is very dangerous. I'm very well aware of the risk that I'm taking when I'm down here. Um, it's meant to install a little bit of excitement into my life, but I am willing to put in the extra effort and legwork it takes to run back when I see waves coming. But this is very dangerous. A lot of guys come out here with 10 foot poles. They're able to cast really far. I've chosen uh, to use a smaller pole for now uh, under these conditions. It gets me closer. I think the footage comes out a lot uh, cooler, you know, a lot more excitement. And uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you choose to come out surf fishing, you do so at your own risk. As I do, I am well aware of the risk. All right, let's have fun. Okay, we're doing a keeper challenge today. I'll try to explain as I'm getting started. Uh, we're doing the keeper challenge, but it's not your normal keeper challenge. Uh, we're trying to catch striped bass, but we're also trying to catch perch. I'm trying to put fish in my fridge. So, uh, the keepable size for a striped bass is 18 inches. And that's all well and good, and I'm sure I can accomplish that today. Maybe even on this cast with this Kytex. Um, but the Ryman Keeper Challenge is gonna be a little bit special. It's going to involve catching a keeper that is no less than 19 inches from with the mouth closed to the last little stubby of the tail, not the fan, just before the fan starts. That last little bit of meat. So it has to be at least 19 inches for me to call it a keeper and for me to fill my fridge with it. Now, that's one part of the challenge. The next part of the challenge is we're also gonna try to catch some surf perch today. I have all day. We're gonna try to catch at least one keeper. And in the Ryman terms of a keeper for a surf perch, it has to be a minimum of 10 inches standard measurement with the mouth closed to the tip of the fan of the tail closed. And uh, yeah, so we're trying to accomplish that. And if we do accomplish any of that, that would be a miracle to me, I think. But we're also gonna try to double it up on the species. We're allowed to keep two striped bass each day. So by those standards, by the Rye Man Keeper standards, we're gonna try to get two of them. Fill our fridge that way, for sure. Can't wait to taste that striped bass. And we're also going to try to catch two keeper surf perch, barred surf perch, or any surf perch, but uh, um, they have to be keepers. Now, that's the goal. Those are the goals. Let's throw us out again. Yeah, the stripers are there, they're here. We just gotta take our time with this uh, Kytex. Yeah, with all the options I have now for catching fish, having a higher uh, probability of catching, I'm really looking forward to switching to surf perch when I get to the end here, because I'm not getting anything on this striped bass. All right, camo sandworm going out. He's got some of that juice on him. That was another thing I was thinking of trying. I wanted to try a video where I challenge myself and uh, um, see if that juice stuff works uh, over just not juicing. Like juicing up the Kytex maybe. All right. I think I have a fish all of a sudden. Yep, yeah, there he is. There he is. All right, I think it's a walleye. It's a big guy. All right. <laughs> He's the biggest walleye I've ever caught. That's awesome. Oh, that's special. I don't know, guys. Can you eat walleye? I don't... 
I don't think he's long enough anyways. Yeah, he doesn't look 10 inch, so let's get him off the hook, get him back into the surf. I don't think this was, I don't think this was the type I caught earlier. I think I caught a different species. But yeah, Mr. Walleye, wow. Thank you for participating. Yeah, woo, he's shaking. He's shaking, he's nervous. This is his first time on camera. All right, on the camo sandworm. Thanks, Mr. Walleye. All right, let's get you back in there. Yeah, we're not gonna keep, we're not gonna eat walleye because I don't know yet if, if you can or, well, I'm sure you can, yes. But uh, I've seen people smirk uh, at the thought of uh, walleye. So, we know barred surf perch eat, or are good eating. Oh, oh, all right, he'll be all right. He slipped out of my hand on the, um, on the toss. All right, camo sandworm finally reeling us in something. We beat the skunk, and we got the uh, we got the the, the odd species. Um, so the thing with the Ryman vlog is that we hardly catch any walleye, which is weird because a lot of people catch walleye all the time. Um, but that was our only our really our third, and it was the biggest I've ever caught. Manage these uh, these fish can they can pretty much make their way back into the water on dry land. From from dry dry land, as long as there's a slope. But the waves coming up, they can uh, use the wave, the little bit of water, to uh, fight their way back into the surf. It's definitely way too rough to get underwater footage today. <laughs> Yeah, we beat the skunk. That's the very least we could do. Uh, that and not dying. And not losing our gear. Wow. Real rough. Real rough. Get up here. Let me get over here more. All right, I'll let you guys know if I get another bite. All right. So lack of a better idea, we've gone back to the uh, gulp sandworm camo. I'm gonna throw it out right now. As far as I can get it, I guess. Yeah, going a bit further uh, with that one and, a, one, a, one and a half ounce weight. And if I lose this weight, I'm in pretty big trouble because uh, I only have a bigger weight and smaller weights, I do have more one and a half ounce, but they're clogged with sand. So every time I try to stick my needle in them to clear them out, it doesn't work. So they're kind of a waste, man. Once you take them off the line, they get sand in them for some reason. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, you're getting this, right? You're getting this. Yep. Let's reel them in. We got a perch. Yeah, we got a perch. Come on. Come on, guy. Get this wave in here. Get him in, nice and launched. Yeah, he's launched in here. Woohoo! All right, it's a new species. It's a calico. It's a calico, guys. Woo! Okay, compose myself. We got a brand new species here on the Ryman channel. First time catching a calico. Whoa, 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 guy! Come on here. Trying to display you to my my audience here. One second. Let me get this out of it. Ooh, kind of hooked him behind the eye a little bit. Oh man, poor guy. Come on. Oh no. Uh, there we go. We got him. Are you gonna be all right, bud? Um, let's let's bust out the tape measure and see what's going on here. Uh, yeah, it looks like I might have damaged his eye. His eye's all sunken in now. Let's see how long it is. Come on, tape measure. Where'd you go? I just confirmed that I had it. Sorry, sorry. Hang on, guys. I'm sorry. Gotta get myself situated. Huh? I'll have to pull some stuff out. Cleaning off my little little catch here. It's all gilled. A little more. A little more cleaning. Little more cleaning. 
There we go. All right. Calico. First Calico. Okay, fresh sandworm going out, camo sandworm going out. After um, catching a calico, uh, I threw it out a couple more times and I lost that sandworm. Uh, so this is a fresh one. Now I'm, I'm wondering if uh, that fresh scent, that fresh goo uh, will make a difference. Let's see. I don't know if I got a fish on. It felt like it was hard to reel in or well, not hard, but it felt like there was something on it. Still feels like there's something on it. Yep, there's a fish on it. Ooh, it's another walleye, and he's smaller. He little guy. Ah, oh, he make me bust out the baby voice. Ah, oh, you cute little guy. <laughs> yeah, he's a clean hook right there. Let's get this. Uh, get this guy back in the water real quick. Get this pole and the pole holder weighed down. My bucket. Hang on, guy. Little tiny walleye. Caught him on the gulp. Sandworm. Camo. It's really working out. Actually, you know what? Let me take my let me take my pole with me. Where am I? What am I doing, guys? Come on. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> take the pole with me so I can release this cute little guy. He got. You see that color? That green hue. Look at that green hue. I'm gonna call you Hue. All right, Hue, back in the water. Woo! He did like four somersaults all right let's untangle this a little bit see if that's easy to untangle oh man what's going on here all right all right let's okay thought i was going to be able to do this in one take but looks like i gotta undo a knot uh couldn't even tell i had a fish on another little walleye hey he looks like the same guy he might be a little bit bigger but man you come back for more little guy Let's see if we can do this again. Second try. I'm trying to do this in one take. Grab the walleye, unhook him. I'm sorry, unhook him. Sorry, guys. Little walleye with the green hue. Hit the little black fin. Big old eye. Cute little guy. I'm gonna throw him back right away and throw out the sandworm again. Hopefully there's no tangles, no problems. Do it all in one take. Here we go. Bam. Yeah, sorry if you're missing this. I'm having all kinds of technical difficulties today. Not the greatest day, but then again, those the walleye and the um, the calico definitely making up for it. I just got my reel wet. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. Just stack on the stack on the issues, man. I've had to. I've had to uh, cut out of this of this video. I've had to cut out a lot of me complaining. <laughs> I'm gonna try to spare you guys the complaining. I don't know if we'll get one on this on this cast, but it's definitely worth uh, trying. Yep. So that's like uh, three or four today. Walleye are here, walleye are biting, calico are here, they're biting. Where are the barred surf perch? Your guess is as good as mine. Where are the striped bass? Well, <laughs> they're here somewhere. Um, they're elusive a little bit. Yeah, nice far cast, that's where they are. Or at least where uh, where I cast to catch them, and they're probably really close. Little walleye on the number two hook. Um, I was using the number ones. Number ones haven't caught me anything today. I don't think. I think I got a fish on and off. Whoa. Yeah, this reel, man. This reel doesn't reel fast enough. I'm consistently reeling. It's not keeping up. Look, see all the slack, all this, all this, all this slack. Look at that. What is going on? Yep. Well, try not to complain, but here we go. Throw it out again. 
see how far I can go. A lot of, lot of line coming out. A lot of line coming out. I'm gonna back up. Getting hungry again. Getting hangry, wanna fish. I wanna fishy. Take home and eat. I think about what kind of meal I want to make with my fish. I usually just do fish and rice. I think it's kind of boring. He's back again. All right, I'll let you know if I get anything. I think I got a fish. Yeah, another fish. Ooh, he heavy. Oh no, he's just getting dug into the sand. Yeah, this in, this, this incline. Yeah, it's, it's another walleye. Not, still no barred surf perch. It's another walleye of the same size, pretty much. Let's get him off. Oh yeah, he's hooked a little funny too. Sorry, sorry if you're missing this. I'm just trying to make this quick. Yeah, a little walleye. Let's throw him back. He's got some sand in his mouth. Hopefully he's gonna be okay. Let's see if I can get his mouth washed off before I release him. Come on, water. Yeah, he's good. He's good. All right. Kick up dust, little walleye. Yeah, okay, we're recording. I wouldn't be surprised if we weren't recording. The way today's going. All right. Yeah, I think this is it. This is probably the catch I've been looking for. Oh, no, man. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Okay, well, we'll try again. Yeah, um, so far, little action. Got the one fish good fish fight on and off um, and then uh, the little walleye lots of debris in the water uh, still getting bites now I'm getting bites I should say is that a fish I think that's a fish okay all right I think I set the hook I'm gonna get him in here Wow what? Come on, come on. Get you in here. Get, get him in on this wave. Come on, get in, get in, get in here, get in here, get in here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, he's a keeper, boy. Yes, we have accomplished that goal, guys. All right, here's a look at our first keeper, 11 inches, uh, definitely. Uh, a uh, young, uh, non-pregnant female. And we are uh, going to put her in the free refrigerator. Whew, cook her up. Man, all this work for one fish, <laughs> one keeper. Let's see if we can uh, keep going on this challenge. I'm trying to catch two of these guys and two stripers. Here we go. We got one. This wave comes in, come on wave. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Big one, big ones. What size is it? Let's see, let's find out. Let's bust out that tape measure, guys. Woo! All right. Okay. Now the keeper size. All right, you just stay right there. Um, hang on. You just stay right there. Let's, let's see. You guys, I think we're doing it, man. I think we're accomplishing the Ryman Keeper Challenge. Oh, my uh, tape measure's way over here. I'm um, trying to keep my fresh fish in the uh, shade for now. Uh, let's see, yeah, right here. I've got this thing unrolled to 21 inches already. Uh, Cause uh, I don't intend on, I don't plan on, uh, I'm not planning on catching one bigger than that, but we'll see. Okay, not centimeters. Inches, close mouth, buddy. Close your mouth. Close your mouth, you're on TV. Okay. Uh, from the fork of the tail 
10 and a half. Perfect. Sweet. Total length uh, from the fan of the tail, 11 inches. Wow. Keeper, barred surf perch. We have accomplished half the Rye Man Keeper Challenge today. I'm going to um, uh, dispatch this uh, fish. We're going to re-rig with some Kitex and see if we can snag ourselves some striped bass on the way out. And then we might even uh, switch back to the, uh, to the Lucky Craft. All right, here's a look at our call so far. Two of the uh, Bard Surf Perch, uh, both uh, more than 10 inches each. And uh, yeah, man, whoo! This is gonna be good. Let's, uh, we've got 50% of it completed. Let's see if we can't tackle the next 50%. Strike bass. All right, we got the Kitex on a three foot lead. Carolina rig, uh, a number two hook. This uh, striped bass is definitely gonna have to inhale. He's gonna have to inhale it for me to hook him. He's gonna have to do more than just bite the tail. That's the first cast, we'll, we'll throw it out again in a second. Well, my weight and my Kitex just flew off my line. And right in front of me too, but it, unfortunately I cannot get to it, it's gone. All right, well, now I'm in the water. I uh, suppose I can throw out the Lucky Craft. There's not that much wind right now. I think I might have a fish. Yes, I have a fish on this Lucky Craft. Here he comes. Here he comes. Keep coming. Oh, it's a little... What? Oh, I snagged. I snagged oh, a walleye. Look at this. He, I, I, maybe he was going for it. Look at him. I snagged him. Hopefully he's going to be okay. Let me put this in the pole holder so I can operate. Dr. Ryman can operate on our little friend, the walleye. He's a good uh, five inch walleye. Ooh, we're gonna have to be careful with this guy. Let me get a good hand on this lucky craft real quick. Get a good hand on that. Hang on, hang on, guy. Hang on, guy. Lay you down. Risk. Ooh, I got him in the meat. Oh no, uh, he's not throw. I can't throw him back. Hang on. Can't throw him back, got him real good. Cut bait keeper. Yeah, just waiting for the right time to cast. That poor little walleye, he tried to go for that. That lucky crop. Uh, he, or he tried to, uh, he tried to bully it. Uh, the fish tried to side swipe the, the bait sometimes. He went in for a close look and turned around at the last second, but he got snagged by a hook right in the belly. Tore him a new one, man. At least the Lucky Crafts catches something, man. These uh, these lures, they're not cheap. Yeah, get them out there, get them out there. Let's get one, come on. Nice flat. Got to get a good presentation. Just trying to get myself out there a little bit. These waves are coming all the way up to my net holder and my pole holder. And I moved, I moved them up already, so. Trying to catch striped bass, man. On a day when I, when I could, I could very well successfully complete this challenge. I've already uh, finished half of it by catching those two perks, those two keepers. Barred surf perch, back in action. I was starting to wonder where my, my barred surf perch friends went. And they're here. And they're getting bigger too. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a striper. Oh my goodness. I think it's a striper. Either that or it's something bigger. Oh yeah, he's a striper. Oh yeah, he came to the surface. He's coming, he's coming. Got to get him over. I don't think I'll be able to get him to my net. Ooh, he's strong. He's a big keeper. He's strong. Try to wear him out. Keep that tension. Ooh, he's trying to pull me back. He's trying to pull me back. Wave coming in, wave coming in. Come on, wave. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get this. Oh, God, he's big. He's big. He's, oh, 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 he's taking line. Taking line. Taking line, taking line. 
Ooh, taking it, taking it. He's taking it. Come on, back in here. Get back in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wear him out, wear him out. Get him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Careful, careful, careful. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Come on. Ooh, get this wave in here. Come on. Ooh, this is the best fight. This is the best fight. I don't have my, I don't have my net. It's too far away. He's not giving up. Ooh, he's not giving up, guys. Here we go, here we go, bring him in. Bring him in, bring him in, bring him in. Bring him in, big guy, big guy, big guy. Big guy, big striper, come on. Come on, guy. Oh my goodness. Oh, kick him up there. Oh, he's huge. Oh my God, he's huge. He's too big to keep, I gotta kick him up. Kick him up on the shore. Hang on, guys. Stay tuned, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, guy, you ain't getting back in there. Oh, man. No, 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 no. No, 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 he's trying to get back. No, no, oh man. All right, kicking him, kicking him up here. My, 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 my line snap, sorry. Sorry guys, I don't mean to mistreat this fish. I don't mean to mistreat him, but I have to, I have to get him up here. I have to get him up. This is the biggest fish I have caught in years. Sorry, it's a little rough. Sorry, I gotta make sure he's away. All right, stay tuned, I'm gonna get a bucket of, bucket of water. Wash this guy off, he's gonna be all right. He'll be all right. Oh man, dry land, he's trying to get back. Get back there, get back there, get back. Come on, all right. Man, this guy is the size of two keepers. The size of two Ryman keepers. Um, real exciting, hang on. All right, I'm gonna reset this, uh, I'm gonna reset this take. Calm myself down a little bit. Yeah, I'll be completely honest, this is a family friendly show. But off camera, uh, today at least I am cussing up a storm because these are very crucial, mo very crucial moments. I just got hit by sand. Yeah, he's still alive and kicking. All right, so I had this thing set to 21. But we're gonna go, uh, ooh man, yeah, he's longer than 21. Man. All right, we got mouth closed roughly there. Yeah, it's hard to measure, uh, especially with this hook so close to my hand. He's 27 inches, guys, to the tip of the tail. To the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy guy, easy. Easy guy. Yeah, he's uh, definitely trying to still get back in the water. Yeah, he's... Uh, this isn't his first rodeo. He's got big old scars on him. Oh. All right. We have uh, from the tip of the tail. Ah. I swear guys, e even when I complete these challenges, even when I'm successful, man, I'm still having a hard time. Tip of the tail, 29 inches. 29 inch to the tip of the tail of the striped bass. In fact, he might even be a little bit more. He, he's a little wobbled, a little, a, little, a little awkward. Let me see if I can get a good measurement, proper measurement, closed mouth. He's gonna start moving. I'm probably gonna get hooked. Uh, let's see, we got, okay, no, no, 20, 28 and a half, 28 and a half to the tip of the tail, guys. That's what we're looking at, the striped bass. Let me get him nice and cleaned off. We'll give him a good presentation for you guys. Sorry for the, uh, sorry for all the roughness of this, uh, this video, man. It's been a long day to catch this huge bass and uh, I'm, I'm just in shock right now. All right, one last look at him. I am keeping him. I think I think I would have said uh, originally that I wasn't going to keep a big old bass like this, but I'm going to keep him. I had to keep him out of the water way too long just to get the short and all the mis mishaps I'm having. Uh, he's probably still. Yeah, he's still. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, yeah, he's strong. He's hooked. He's hooked in a couple different ways. I don't know. I don't know if I'll actually be able to get him. Let's see. Let me get him from here. Yep, there we got one. Go guys, flip back over. Oh, sorry, I, I know you're miss. I know you're missing all this. I apologize. My my screen goes dark and I can't see everything. There we go. Twisted. I am gonna ruin this this lucky craft and probably rip this guy a big old hole in his cheek. But I've got another lucky craft. Hang on. Hang on. Guys, we we completed this uh, 
This this is a complete mission, dude. I mean, it, yeah, the rules were uh, get two of them. But this guy is a once in a lifetime, and I don't think I'm gonna get another. I will try for a little bit longer. I still have time. It was funny because I was saying to myself, "Man, can you do this? Can you finish this? Uh, um, can you finish this challenge in in 40 minutes?" That's all I had. It's 40 minutes till I had to leave. And I think I still have 30 minutes left. All right, we're gonna get another lucky craft on there and throw it out after I dispatch this guy. It's gonna take a while. I'm gonna have to string this guy up and throw him over my back. So huge. All right, you guys, it's a little past noon. We gone and completed the Rye Man Keeper Challenge. Uh, we're gonna end it on that big 28 inch keeper. Unless I bring in another, uh, another 19 inch keeper right here, right now. Uh, that's gonna conclude it, man. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and take on this challenge again in the future. But right now I've got more than enough fish to fill my fridge. And like I said, I appreciate you guys following along. Make sure you hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit the bell so you never miss an adventure here on the Rye Man Vlog. Out here in California, I'm a beginner surf fisherman. And everything you've seen on this episode today is the result of hard work, determination, patience, and a solid grind. Take it easy, guys. There you have it. Large striped bass from the surf. Looks like he's seen some battle. He's got some scars. He's 28 and a half inches long, and he weighs approximately 9 pounds. Let's go. All right, there you have it. Uh, two huge striped bass fillets, um, slightly butchered. Uh, my first time uh, filleting such a large fish. And uh, man, I can't wait to taste this.